Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to make a delicious spaghetti or pasta. You can use any pasta of your preference. And it's going to be with ground, uh, no ground meat. It's going to be with ground chicken. If you want to see this video, stay tuned. with water which I put it to boil and now I'm gonna add some salt and oil just a little bit I'm gonna use a, about one pound and one box of the pop side angel here this one already come a uh, cut in half but I love angel here but you can use just a spaghetti or any other type of pasta you like. And we're gonna add it in there and we're gonna cook it until it is completely cooked and that's gonna take approximately, I'm gonna say probably eight to 10 minutes. And it's time to cook the meat. I using ground chicken. That's one pound of ground chicken. And it comes already like that ground. And I just add a little bit of oil because it's going to saute the sofrito. And I'm going to show you what is sofrito, okay? I'm using two tablespoons of sofrito. And this is onion, pepper, eh, cilantro, culantro, fresh garlic, everything you put in the blender and you blend it in there. Or you can just go ahead and cut that fresh vegetables and add that in the oil that way you can saute it. I have in, the, in here one teaspoon of garlic paste that's optional but you can use gra a garlic powder when you add the meat. We're going to saute this and this is going to be like a we're not going to use the uh, those jars um, from the store but if you want to use it you can definitely go ahead and we're going to saute this for a few minutes I'm going to say probably one to two minutes. Now I'm going to add two cans of eight ounces of a salsa or sauce. If you want to use one jar of the prego or any ragu or, you know, one of those a salsa, you can go ahead and do it, but I'm doing like a criollo uh, style, like a homemade style. So that's what I'm doing now. I want you to try it. If you wasn't try this recipe or you wasn't try the spaghetti like this before, I guarantee you, you're going to love it. And then uh, if you see at the can, you just add a little bit of water just to take some of the sauce out. Uh, but that's optional. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the meat. I don't rinse or I don't wash the meat, any type of ground beef, I don't do that. Some people, you know, um, like to do that. If you go ahead, and, if you like it, just go ahead and do it. But that's not my my habit to do it, so I'm not going to rinse it up. But just be careful because sometimes it comes with this little uh, uh, paper. And if you want to add two pounds, go ahead and add more meat. If you are a, a, a meat lover, <laughs> just go ahead and add more meat probably to package um that's for me that's that's enough and then we're gonna just meet a uh, mix the meat with the sauce we just do it like a practically not, I'm not gonna say homemade sauce because it's not a homemade sauce but I'm not gonna use the jar so and then we're just gonna break the meat and in a few minutes, we're going to add the, uh, the other uh, condiments. I'm going to add adobo. Adobo is the all-purpose seasoning. You can add salt or any type of seasoning. As you see, I go one, I go two. That's the way I seasoning the meat, and it's, it came out perfect. And in here, I make a, a mistake or I make a blooper. I don't know what I was thinking. But look, look closely. That's black pepper. And I don't know what happened with me. <laughs> but I'm exaggerating. But believe me, 
everybody love it because you can taste the pepper so if you love black pepper you can put that amount it's not it's, it's good but if you don't just go ahead and add approximately one teaspoon or two teaspoons of the black pepper now I'm gonna add like a teaspoon of the oregano I use my hands to measure And I'm gonna add one envelope of sazón con culantro y achote, that's for color. Stir. Remember, this meat is not gonna take long because it's already grounded. And um, so I'm gonna let the um, meat to cook. I'm just gonna lower the heat. And then after you see, I drain the uh, pasta. And then what we're going to do is I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna mix everything together. Now, as you see, I changed the pasta uh, to a bigger um, to a bigger pad. So make sure at the beginning, if you don't have to wash dishes, just go ahead and cook your pasta because you can just um, drain the pasta and then put it back in the in the pot. And then I'm just gonna go ahead, as you see, I'm mixing the meat with the pasta. And then um, carefully, you're going to just stir. And you can add any cheese if you like, like Parmesan or any type of cheese. I'm not gonna add cheese because mine is like a, like criolla, salsa criolla. And I'm sorry, I don't know how to say that word in English. <laughs> So in here is the final result of the pasta. So give it a try. And remember, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, share with your family and friends. And um, and I want to remind you, my, my videos is also in Spanish. I always make it in Spanish first, and then I do the uh, voiceover in English. So here's my husband. He's going to try the pasta, and I hope you, you guys try it too. Thank you for watching and I see you until the next time. Bye-bye.